everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning June 7th, 2021. I have finally launched the 7 day Archangel Metatron Meditation Challenge. Oh yeah, you're excited? You should be. Metatron is incredible. <laughs> this is Akashic Records. This is a little bit of sacred geometry, your Merkaba, ascension, your intuition, your purpose, understanding who you are, being the student of you. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, head over to the course at gumroad.com slash angel souls where I provide daily prompts for you to work with in your meditation. Of course, it'll include the meditation as well. If that doesn't seem like how you want to approach this, I will have a free meditation and some free videos up on my channel. So be sure to go over there and check that out. So for this week, the message, a piercing lesson coming through. It doesn't have to be unpleasant. It could be that someone or some situation is still where it's always been. Maybe it's a person. Maybe they're standing in front of you. They're just saying all the stuff they usually say. And usually you're just like, whatever, you know, okay. You know, you kind of move on. Now it's as if like the, the lens gets so focused that you see something there that you had not seen before there there's that piercing through okay now this is not inviting you to fight with one another it's not you know it's not like hey I, I see you for your intentions and I don't like it you know whatever this is more about the realization and the freedom that can come from that realization so freeing ourselves from an old mindset we talk about that all the time or freeing yourself from what you thought you were trapped in so for example, if you think that you are trapped in a job, you have a boss that's unreasonable and just kind of always coming at you and always with their expectations that, you know, you don't really understand and you're trying to communicate. I mean, that might occur anyway over the next few weeks, but this is that sort of thing where you suddenly look at your boss who maybe you always thought was a monster and you go, oh, you're scared too, right? Like, oh, you're stressed out too. Oh. You're a person too. Now, some of you are laughing at that. You're like, don't be trying to dance around the boss and make excuses for the boss. <laughs> but I, I get that. But I'm just trying to give an example here of some deep understanding and some deep realization comes up. So balancing, harmonizing, but that has to happen within us first. It can't be, I expect everything else outside of me to balance and harmonize so that I can feel at home and feel good about myself. Now, this is a very emotional time. And some of you, you know, your, your idea of self-care is maybe taking the day off. Maybe you sit at home. Maybe you allow the memories to come up. I just went through something like this too, where you're connecting the dots over something that was long gone. Now, I'm not encouraging you to sit and obsess over anything, um, but there could be some like deeper understandings and it's like emotional freedom coming up okay if that makes sense so there's a lot of silence and there's stillness and it's meditative and it's you know again chaos might be going on all around us but we're right here and we might be rumbling and some some realizations piercing through for some it'll be a moment of oh okay Okay, now I get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and for others, it might be a shock. Whatever occurs, whatever comes piercing through, take that moment to just regroup, get centered. It's a lot of emotional release. It's a lot of emotional release. And it doesn't have to be acting out outside of you. As a matter of fact, I would discourage you from doing that. But rather... How, how can I take a more, like, I, I know this might sound a little weird to some of you out there, like, how can I take a different approach to my life? How can I come at this a little more lovingly without being in denial? How can I come at this from a balanced place without going through the turmoil of experiencing the pain and the fear and the panic and the, you know, how do I just look at it and see it for what it is? It's sharpening our perceptions, but there's going to be some messiness first. So I hope I'm saying this the right way. So there are going to be things coming up. There might be some like emotional realizations. Um, some, some things that 
you never would have seen it. It's been there all along. We were saying that last week where it's just like, it was just obvious what the breakthrough and the fresh start needs to be, right? But this is that next push. It's like the emotional response to whatever came up last week and now you're clearing that away and you're regaining your strength, okay? So it's not a bad thing. It sounds bad, but it's not bad. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It's more of just something you got to come through. You know, I mean, it's, you got to experience, you have to allow yourself to sit with it. Okay. All right. So let's get some cards going here. Where's the first one? Surrender to the divine full moon. That's that quietness. That's exactly what's going on. And it, it's just sort of like, I'm not going to keep pushing and trying to control things. I'm going to free myself. I'm going to back away from this. I'm going to emotionally heal. And there's that full moon, right? Full moon exposes. So again, it's kind of a mixed thing here. It's a general reading. So for some of you, it's a very freeing thing. It could be a bit of information you were hoping would come through. What's going on with my friend? Why is my friend pulled away? And maybe your friend comes out this week and says, I had a health scare. That, that's going to be someone's story out there. Everything's okay, but I, you know, I just needed to withdraw a little bit until I knew what was going on before I came and told you anything. It, it's that kind of thing where something gets revealed. Um, for some of you, watch out for people who are still trying to manipulate a story, you know, who didn't honor you for so long and then they try to come back and they're like, oh, but you misunderstood. Anytime someone comes at you, Assuming you're like a reasonably coherent, <laughs> grounded person and you're doing some sort of communication and someone comes back and says, oh, you misunderstood. This is Mercury retrograde, I know, okay? But I'm talking about in general, when people act like that, uh, get that perception going. Look at what it really is. Don't jump to conclusions and don't just look away face it head on. I've had experiences like that where people were highly manipulative and then would come back to me and say, no, you misunderstood because they were about to get in trouble. <laughs> they were about to get called out and they were trying to backpedal. They're trying to work their way out. They're trying to rework the narrative. So there is a message there for some of you to be aware of it. I mean, you don't have to like fight back against it or anything. You just don't participate. You just say, mm, I didn't misunderstand anything. I've had to say that a few times in my life too, which I guess I am laughing because I don't know that that was exactly the right thing to do. I mean, you try to be cooperative as much as you can, I guess, is, you know, is the way to go. But just be careful of that. Be mindful of it. Don't judge people. Okay. Get more information. <laughs> that's, that's how I want to put it. Just make sure you get more information. Oh, 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 that one wants to come out. Okay. A time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. Again, this feels very much about cooperation. So there is a lot of um, clearing, I guess, emotional clearing, mental clearing. We might be shifting how we approach our lives. Uh, new information is coming up. It's showing us what we're made of. And again, it doesn't have to be in this grandiose way. And if you have gotten through many, many past weeks, staying level and you come up on this week and you see that somebody else is not they didn't get the memo on the message from the angels right to it's okay to just remember that it's okay and to not panic if you see someone getting into a spiraling place uh, again assess the situation if there's somebody who is an energy vampire and they're always doing that to get attention don't partake but if this is someone who genuinely just hasn't realized that there's a brighter road ahead you know maybe help them out, help them get grounded, um, gain some perspective, okay? All right. Okay. All right, so we have the energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon, this feels more like 
again, there's, <laughs> I'm trying to put this very nicely. It feels like there's just going to be a lot of back and forth. Like, oh, like what, 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 what is happening? What is this? And you're getting, going through that whole process, getting that perspective, as I said, and then the energy will gain momentum. So don't get too shook about what goes on. Okay. That does not mean that, well, I guess they say that if you lose, for example, lose a job during a Mercury retrograde, that maybe you can get it back. I I've heard people say that. I don't know, but this is more like, um, you're not going to feel this way forever. You're not going to feel this way forever. It was not even a bad day. It was a few minutes in the day where something went amiss. <laughs> okay. Perhaps, or, um, you, you get a sudden realization. Some of you are gonna, oops. Um, some of you are gonna realize that you need to let somebody go. It's that sort of thing. What doesn't serve you is going away. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. What doesn't serve you is going away. And that could be just in thought. It could be actually someone in your environment, but don't pick fights and don't judge. That's not the deal. We can be aware without judging. That we can be aware and watch and get more information. Yeah, so there will be a comeback. Yeah, there will be a comeback. And that doesn't mean, oh, we broke up during a Mercury retrograde comeback. Or we're saying like if you lost the job, it'll come back. I don't know about that. Um, this is more about you'll have a comeback. You will recover. I mean, those things are possible. I guess people go apart and come back together all the time. But um, this is more about you'll know how to proceed. This could be a really great week for creativity. In other news, uh, it's a great week for creativity. So you might be going back to a project you haven't um, had a chance to get to for a while. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal Moon. Yeah, you're taking a different approach, guys. You're not, and it's so natural. It's weird. It's like there's this thing that pops up, makes you have your response. You, sorry, there was like a little, little bug that went right by me, and I'm like, how'd you get in here? My windows are closed. Anyway, <laughs> be bold and make the first move to come into this new, you get very focused and you're coming into this new approach, this new perspective. And um, as I was saying, it was it's just so natural. It's just like what you've always wanted to be able to do, but maybe you didn't trust yourself or maybe you thought you had to kind of um, be on your guard. Yeah. Some of you are leaving some pretty big situations. So I wouldn't start anything new right now. That's not what this is saying. But be bold and be willing to not give in to people who are being pushy or not to give in to people who are feeling entitled. Again, not judging, not trying to start a fight. But you notice I keep saying that, so I hope I hope everybody kind of keeps it mellow here. <laughs> as much as you can, keep it mellow. But this is more about you, you just have to go with the process. This is what you're built for, what you're experiencing this week, okay? You're, you're built to come on through and to learn this as a human being. So, look at the color card here. If you want to make time for like a vacation, <laughs> you don't have to go anywhere, but just kind of like, uh, I'm gonna go sit on my balcony for a little bit with a cup of tea and just have like a little vacation for a moment. This wants to come out. Uh, that is perfect. And it says lighten up. And that's really what it is. It's white, lighten up, the number is 24. So you're deconstructing what doesn't serve, but that might be how you respond to things. It might be looking at what, what kind of psychological reaction you have to things. Check with an expert, I always say that. But this is saying, okay, you know what? You're lightening your load by letting things go. You're lightening your load by having some bit of self-discovery about what you're made of and what your strengths are and you know, how you can come through and how you can just take a different approach that keeps coming up. How are you going to take a different approach? Okay. It's not a bad energy whatsoever. It's not even for some, it's not even going to be that annoying. It's just, I don't know, all these things start coming into your awareness. You're getting information and it's maybe even information that was hidden from you before. And everyone's situation is going to be different. As I always say, if you want something that is tailored to you, you can go to my website at angelsouls444.com and sign up for a personal reading that I deliver to you as basically a personal 
podcast. <laughs> I don't know. It's a voice recording that you get just for you answering your questions and doing a deep dive and uh, a channel message with some cards in there as well. So that's an option. And uh, of course, if you want to just work on it through meditation, you know, you could do that as well. If you've gotten value out of this video and you would like to know when I'm posting new content, please make sure that you are subscribed, hit that notification bell, hit the like, and uh, yeah, that just helps out a ton. So I think that's it. I think that's all. Is that it, guys? It's not as serious as you think, okay? It's not as serious as you think. So there's going to be some things that are going to pull our focus, but you're going to handle it perfectly well. Take it easy on yourselves, all right? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.